hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima today we are going into an entirely different series and today i'm going to give advice to mbvs aspirants i'm here to let you know that i was an mbvs aspirant from 2010 to 2018 when i finally got admission so that's about eight years so you are not alone okay i'm here to give you advice on everything that you should know before you finally get admission into a medical university or into a medical school or before you finally get that mbbs admission that you so much want the first thing i'm going to tell you is don't worry okay be encouraged if you've not seen my jam story i will put the link up for you i talked to you guys how i was able to finally get my admission after writing jam or what americans would say mcat six times i wrote jamb or mcat six times before i eventually got admission into a medical university so you should have that in mind that it may take a while for some people everyone have their own part the fact that your friend took six years to get his own does not mean that you will take that same number of years to get yours you could actually get right out of secondary school or high school and get directly into a medical university while for your friend it could take a longer time so everybody's part is different that is one thing i would want you to know everybody's part is different do not compare yourself to anybody the fact that it took me six years to finally get that admission does not mean that it will take you same number of years so of, of course don't worry you will definitely get into your choice medical university or your choice medical school just put in the work and be strategic about it so the first and the most important thing i'm going to tell you here today is choose your medical university wisely choose your medical school wisely don't just apply for any kind of medical university just because your friends are applying for it or just because that is where your family is based or just because of some kind of fantasy that you heard on social media about that medical investing no i'm going to upload a video on the easiest medical universities to get into please remind me i'm going to upload that video when you're choosing a medical university you should know from your jam score or your mcat score the kind of school that you should apply for if your jam score or your mcat score is less than 70 percent you should know already that there are certain universities that you should stay clear of for example if you have less than a 75 percent in your jam or your mcat you should stay away from schools like university of ibadan you should stay away from schools like unn like unisic or uni like you know all those schools with high volume of applicants you should stay away from this kind of school so that you would not receive stories that touch the heart another thing of course i know that you may want to go into the best in quotes medical university yes it's good that you go for the best medical university but as i would always say it all depends on your score it is the percentage that you have in your jam or your mcat that would determine the medical university that you should go into note that the best medical schools the best medical universities require the best jam scores or the best mcat scores so you should have that in mind before you write your jam or before you write your mcat so that you would prepare accordingly another thing i'm going to let you know particularly for the medical aspirant in nigeria some medical universities some medical schools do not accept second choice so don't put a particular school as second choice and you expect that they will give you admission no it doesn't work that way find out the requirements for that school and know if they accept second choice if they do not accept second choice then you have to go back to jam website and change everything back to first choice so that you have more chances of getting admission in that medical university or in that medical school another thing i'm going to tell you is please do your research properly research about the post ume of that medical university before you jump into writing the exam do your research properly what is the nature of their questions how many percent do they require of you to give you that mbbs admission what credentials do they need your o levels your pre-med what cgpa what gp do they need from you to give you admission find out their post ume what courses what subjects do they ask is there math is there english is there physics is there chemistry is there biology is there general knowledge is there quantitative reasoning is there qualitative reasoning what kind of questions and how many questions do they usually allow calculator don't just go in blindly find out these things before you apply for a particular medical university or a particular medical school another thing i'm going to tell you that helped me so so much in my time is look for a community of mbbs aspirants look for a community of medical aspirants as well and join there are so many facebook groups there are so many naira land pages that are for medical aspirants that are for 
MBBS aspirant join. You will get to see someone else who is aspiring to become a medical student in the same medical university. You will be informed. Look for those kind of groups. It will help you a long way. You will know tips ahead of time, especially when you have to travel to that university to write their post to me. You need to know ahead of time what to expect, what kind of bus travel you should use and all those, you know, nitty gritty. And how will you get that information? It is from fellow MBBS aspirants like you. That is where you get informations like that. Another thing, of course, I will tell you is look for medical students in that medical university or medical school that you are aspiring to be a student of look for them and send them message believe me my msa president right now that is how i got to know him even my previous msa president i got to know them from an mbbs aspiring group chat and i discovered that they were already students of a medical school that i was aspiring to be a student of and that is how they helped me tremendously before i got the admission even after getting the mbbs admission they still continue to help me and they are still helping me till date so look for students of that medical university or of that medical school that you intend to apply to look for them and ask them questions another thing of course i'll tell you is that there are so many routes to get mbbs admission you can try the jupeb route you can try the o level route you can try the direct entry route by the way i'm going to upload a video for direct entry medical students especially those who already have a first degree and want to do mbbs at second degree please remind me let me not forget i'll upload that video because there's a lot that you guys need to know there are some shockers that you guys need to know those things that i wish someone told me before i decided to pursue an mbbs degree as my second degree i wish someone told me those things i'm going to mention it in that video just remind me another route is crossing over you know all these things that probably you get admission into physiology and then you get a very good cgpa and then you cross over to medicine and surgery department in 200 level those are different routes i'm going to upload a full dedicated video for this route through which you can get mbbs admission just remind me please do your research on all these routes that i've mentioned there are probably other routes that i've not mentioned do but just do your research properly so that you will choose the path that is good for you and if it's possible for you to apply through more than one route please do because i applied through direct entry and i still applied through o level i eventually got both but since the o level came first the direct entry admission came over six months after the o level admission came so that's why i went for o level admission so you can try different routes one may click and one may not click but don't put all your eggs in one basket if you have an option another thing i'm going to tell you i know it may be difficult but please have an open mind okay be ready to write jump or mcat over and over again don't feel like as if it's a taboo it's not a taboo i wrote six times now the fact that i wrote six times i repeat myself again it does not mean that you too will but know that it is okay to write jump or mcat over and over again okay this is mbvs that we are looking for and it's not easy to get in so it's okay to try more than once that doesn't make you a dull person that doesn't make you an unintelligent person there are smart people who also repeat mcat there are smart people who also repeat jump so just do your preparation properly and give in your best even though your best doesn't yield good enough results for you don't worry you will still make it but how would you make it if you stop trying try again you would make it one more thing i actually forgot to add is that you need to know the admission quota for each university there are some universities that have an admission quota of 200 some have 180 some have 150 150 so you need to know because if the admission quota for that university you're applying for is 50 then that means 45% have to be on merit, 35% has to be on catchment area, and the remaining 25% has to be on ALDS. Merit is those that meet the cutoff mark. Catchment area is those that are from states that are around the school. Now, note that not all medical universities utilize this catchment area, like University of Ibadan, University of Abuja, they do not utilize catchment area. All states of Nigeria is their catchment area. Then another thing is ELDS, that's Education Less Developed State that's the states that nigeria believes they do not have enough graduates that they want to help out most of the states of the north are under elds then states like cross river Eboye. so just find out states that are under elds please note that this applies to federal universities the state universities have their own way so this is what they usually use to give admission after they've given admission to this particular number they now admit extra most nigerian universities admit extra 
extra. They know that the quota is 50, but yet they admit like 100 and above because they want to fail students on purpose. Any number that they admit above the quota is usually from long legs or concession. So you need to have that in mind before you apply for that particular medical university. For those who do not know, I have a whole playlist for BBS aspirant. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link up for you. I'm sorry guys, this video was too long by tomorrow. The rest of this video will be out. I'm your girl Jemima. See you tomorrow. Bye.